Veronica, shot got going a little bit for you today. Saw some threes go down. Was that sort of a, a little bit of a weight off your shoulders? Um, yeah, definitely a relief, obviously. Didn't really start the season as um, shooting as well as I'd hoped, but everyone on, my whole, everyone on my team, all my coaches kept telling me to shoot, so that really helped. I think gave me a lot of confidence in doing so, and I mean, that's what I work on. That's what I practice, so just to see him go in, it was obviously felt good. And then, Jordan, you know, just getting back from this injury, and it seems like you're really hitting your stride today. Yeah. How, how good does that feel for you after, you know, having to sit out for, for, for a couple of weeks? Um, it's definitely tough, like, coming back from injuries and stuff, but my teammates made it so much easier, and it feels so much better when you know that they're having your back and supporting you to do well. Uh, so I think that feeling just made me want to keep, you know, doing well in the game. And do you think you're, you're, you're back 100% going, going 100% at all times now? Um... I would I want to say no because when I missed my layup, you know, that was kind of a bummer, but um besides that, uh, I'm getting there. I'll say I'm getting there. And just in the first half and really especially the first quarter, you guys got that offense really really ticking. Veronica got five assists in the first quarter. Uh, Big time. Oh, the yeah. the just just shots were falling from all over the place. You guys have gotten up to a couple of those hot starts in a row now. What's the key for you guys coming out so strong in that first quarter? Mm -hmm. I think for us we just talked especially after like the end of last year, we like notice how much of a difference maker it can be when we come out strong. So that was something we sometimes struggled with last year, and I think we've just really made that um, a big focus for us, just to come out strong. And I think it really makes a leeway for the rest of the game, and it kind of sets the tone. So it's easy to get assists when everyone's shooting the ball like that. So it's a lot of fun to play. In. And basketball is also like a, a mental game. So when you punch a team in the mouth starting off, some teams don't react well to that. So yeah, like she said, just coming out strong from the get makes the other team kind of frazzled at times and makes the job easier on us. And, and then Jordan, coach talks a lot about uh, how Red Auerbach always told him you want to have the best sixth player, not the best fifth player. Right. So how comfortable are you in that role coming off the bench and being that, that instant offense I'm, off the bench? I'm cool with it. I mean, to be honest with you, I wanted to stay, like not stay on the bench, but like I was eating popcorn over there just like watching the team. So, uh, man, we have a tough team. Everyone can score. It's just It's just a great thing to be a part of. So I'm fine with being the sixth person. Uh, Jordan, with the injury and coming back from it, is it more of like a, a physical tolerance thing or is it like a mental thing, like, you know, trusting that you can make the movements you got to make? Um, hmm. I guess you could say it's just kind of a mixture of both. You know, when you come back from an injury, you're always going to kind of be thinking about it and that might cause you to be a little hesitant. Um, but it's nothing that I feel like I can't push through. Um, I feel like I'm just getting in my rhythm, getting back, you know, only playing this is really my third game. So um, just trying to get back in a rhythm. I wouldn't say it's mental or physical right now for myself. And then defensively, what was the key to your guys' effort uh, on the defensive side of the ball, Ron? Um, I just think we take a lot of pride in our defense. I think that's something we kind of consistently do. So, um, yeah, I'd say a, a big portion of our identity is on the defensive end, and I think that really just leads to what we get on the offensive side. So. Um, the big game coming up against Michigan State, what's the mentality uh, going into that one? Oh, that's a, uh, oh okay, sorry about that. You good. Um. Only a couple non-con games you guys left, then you get right into Big Ten play with you know Illinois and Maryland. Um, what is the, what's the key as you, as you guys take this trip to Florida to kind of tune up <coughs> and, and, and get better at when, as, you, as you head into Big Ten play? Um. I would just say it's taking it one game at a time. Uh, you know, we don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. We're always talking about it's not who we play, but how we play. So uh, just going in every single game and just worrying about ourselves and making sure we're getting better every time. So, like, the conference is coming up, but that's still, in our minds, a while away. Thank you. Thank you.